I just kept getting a whole bunch of phone calls and text messages asking was I okay. Rajay Benford had just left the Dave Armstrong Extreme Park around 12.30 Sunday morning. About two hours later, LMPD responded to this parking lot at Clay and Franklin Streets across from the park. They found one person dead and two seriously hurt. A short time later, two more victims arrived at the hospital who'd also been shot there. This is a good area, but at the same time, you still got the bad side literally like five, ten minutes away, you know? So, so it really doesn't, like it don't surprise me at all. The park was an active place Sunday afternoon. It had been closed for months due to COVID-19 concerns, and an officer is usually stationed out front, but that wasn't the case Sunday morning when the shooting happened. Many of the city's parks are seeing a smaller police presence as the state continues to reopen and protests continue. I'm seeing that we're pulling our resources and bringing our officers more into the area to provide safe, secure environment for our peaceful protesters. Tons of athleticism is uh, developed here and it's just a sad, unfortunate incident. Kyle Matthew Hamilton lives in New York City, but was raised going to the park. He now visits every day when he's in town. For him, it's a family atmosphere where parents bring their little ones to practice and friends work on mastering their skills. We're here to form connections. We're here to keep building the community. And we're here, as I said many times over, just to respect one another. LMPD does not believe those involved in Sunday shooting were skate park regulars. I hope make people more self-aware of those who shouldn't be here with bad intentions. Joel Skipper, WDRV News.